great, great, great pleasure to welcome you all here uh, at the 18th edition of the NetSci conference. NetSci is the flagship conference of the Network Science Society and we are very happy that this year uh, we could bring it back in person and this year we are here in the wonderful venue of the University of Vienna. We are gathering 850 uh, participants coming from over 50 countries and we have seven keynote speeches representing different areas of network science from psychology to physics, economics and uh, biology. In fact, uh, our world is becoming more and more complex and uh, we cannot solve the problems arising in such a complex world without uh, uh, putting effort into uncovering uh, the laws of such complex systems. And network science is a primary technique, a primary tool uh, to do so, to understand these systems and this crowd which has gathered here in Vienna is contributing to that uh, to a large extent. Like we in our social networks, our beliefs have friends too in the head. Some beliefs are more friendly and some beliefs don't like each other. And so all of this also causes dissonance and can be studied with the same tools that we are using to study social networks. And then the holy grail is to then find a way to integrate these belief networks and social networks to really fully understand how we change our beliefs and make our minds. Interaction between people, interaction between computers, interaction between, between uh, power grids, uh, communication, the internet is a network. So we need to understand their structure, their function, and uh, we are doing theory that will help us to build better infrastructure, better uh, transportation system, better internet. It means failures will be more rare if you understand better and we bring new ideas how to make them more robust, more functional, more efficient. And in particular, they, they depend on each other because when we make a communication, we need also the electricity. So this interaction between them is also very important to make our life safer and more stable. The topic of my research is biomedical data science. So in particular, modern biotechnologies are yielding a vast amount of biomedical data, whether it's about the genes or the entire genomes, all genes in ourselves, proteins, metabolites, the exposures, the what we eat, the pollutants, etc., etc. So we have accumulated vast amounts of data that we cannot read and understand. We have to mathematically model them and then computationally analyze them within machine learning or AI, all sorts of other algorithms to make sense out of them to better human health. Early 2000s, when network science started, it looked like a fun thing to do. It had these nice properties, but now, with time, it has become really a very powerful tool to understand many physical phenomena. I think one of the greatest successes is showing that network science was critical in helping us understand how the very recent COVID pandemic was going to evolve. We have been able to use networks for making recommendations, what species are more at risk for, extinct, for extinction, and other kinds of problems which have shown that really like the power of interactions is really something that is relevant to many of the phenomena that are important for society. What I talked about was influence and influence campaigns and social media. And in particular, when you're on social media, you may think that you're not being influenced, but you are and you're being influenced by people as well as non-people called bots. And one of the most interesting things we found is that those bots can cause you to change your opinions and they change their opinions to make you think that they're part of your group. So networks are all around us and we're embedded in so many different kinds, such as all the ideas that we share with other people as well as who we talk to, as well as the road systems we drive on. So understanding how they're built, how they can be compromised, is just important for a better world.
This has been a fantastic occasion to meet researchers from all over the world in this fantastic interdisciplinary field. And I got a lot of ideas for my research as well, so I'm very grateful for this experience. Today I'm here at NetSci 2023 and presenting my poster um, on the project that I'm working on at CU um, about the personal characteristics associated with misinformation consumption in Hungary. Some of us already were able to present their research, for example, show posters uh, in a specific area or give a talk on the topics that some of us are interested in. Networks have gradually helped impact the way we see the world as a whole, you know, family and, uh, and, and new data is always evolving which could give us really new insights into how different areas of our life are dominated by different fields. And, and it's very nice to see how different people use the same technology but apply it in so many different areas. So scientifically I've like discovered several key findings. For example, like uh, I found that negative news spreads almost twice as fast as positive news on Twitter. And personally it's also like opened up lots of opportunities for me. So we as the Complexity Science Hub uh, co-organized this conference together with the uh, Central European University and this conference will remain as one of the largest net site conferences ever and it will also it's not just for the conference itself but also for the city of vienna huge success looking by the more than 850 scientists that joined this event <laughs>